Well, hello and welcome back to Stray. We are supposed to be going into Seamus' uh, house, but honestly, I don't really care about that at the moment. And um, we are back in the slums after going to the rooftops. We're missing a few sheets and stuff. I want to do a little bit of digging here. I'm not sure where the music sheets are or anything like that. Um, so what I'll probably do is uh, just cut from here, um, try and figure out like where I need to go. Let me in, please. I'm gonna go from house to house, essentially, starting with this one, because I haven't really uh, explored all these places. If I find something cool, I'll show it off. Otherwise, uh, you won't see any of this. Probably make things a little bit easier. Oh, hey, there it is. <laughs> I found this little area where I had um, never been, and apparently this is where the energy can is. Oh, hey. Hang on, I'll show you guys where it is uh, real quick here. Um, so, if you are in this area... Yeah, so there's like those little... There's like a robot here watching television. Yeah, if you want to talk to him. This is... Rose, Rosie, I guess. And you come up here and you turn around and you can jump up uh, here, jump up here, 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 and there's where it is. Yeah, I was really confused about that. So we can actually head back to our salesman now and get whatever the final item uh, was. I think it's probably a memory, to be honest with you. Um, let's see, I think we need to go this way? Is this right? This looks this looks familiar. I could be lost. I'm all, oh no wait, I'm right. I'm right, I'm right here. Like we're good. There's some other people to talk to around here that I haven't seen before. So let's first of all head down here and buy this. Hello again. Um so let's see. Let's go ahead and give him the energy drinks. Here you go. This is an early model of a companion. Back then they didn't have any personality. They were just glorified autonomous cleaners. I think it's nice that they eventually mimicked humans. It's like they missed them and in a way they kind of kept them from going extinct. They're good robots. All right, so I think we got quite a few memories here. I don't know how many more that we're missing from this area, but we also need to go get the remainder of the music. But let's talk to this guy. I haven't seen this guy before. Look at all the great stuff that falls into our trash. So many treasures. You should go visit the barter man. There's something for everyone over there. Um, I really don't have much here for showing at the moment. Do you have anything else to say? We talked to this guy already. Oh yeah, no, he's just gonna continue to talk about that. All right, so the next thing we need to do is get the remaining um, music pieces. I'm not sure exactly which ones we're missing, so uh, I will just show them off as I find them. So there is the first one. Uh, revisiting the bar here, looks like we got five out of eight. Thank you so much. I think we're missing one more, because if I remember correctly, we've had quite a few already. I can't believe we missed that one. Um, jumped up on the table, I saw it. Have we talked to all these people? Have we talked to you? Billy, yes. We've definitely talked to the bartender as well. So, no need to talk to him again. Let's go ahead and uh, turn this one in, since we're like right here. Okay, uh, here you go. Tomorrow's.
All right. Let's, uh... Let's shuffle on here. He's just gonna keep playing for us, apparently. Very cute. Um, so I need to find... I think there's one more, so let me see what I can do, and then I'll meet you right back here. Nice. Oh, hey, look what we got here. So, speaking of musician, uh, right around the corner, I realized I hadn't gone over here. Um, there is a mysterious password. Okay, uh, can I look at this? It's written, follow the numbers, but it looks like a binary language. It's a succession of zeros and ones. We must be able to decipher this code one way or another. It's probably related to this safe. Um, hmm. I actually, let's see, let's, uh, let's show this to somebody because that wasn't terribly useful. Hey, yeah, yeah, plants, that's cool. Um, can you tell me anything about this? It's a very old binary code you have here. Only a real geek can read this. Um, well, Doc isn't around. Uh, let's see, who else is a geek? The only thing I can think of... Yeah, sorry, buddy. Uh, you remember, we've been there a couple times. Oh, not here. I think it's over by Grandma's house. And that's the, that one place you can go into? Hang on. How do we... I definitely recall getting into Elliot's programming, but I don't remember how to get in there, because that's what it's called, right? Uh, yeah, Elliot programming. So let's go in here. This seems these guys seem geeky. Hey, open your door. Thanks. Can you sit down? I need to talk to you for a second. I don't think there's anything really else in here. Uh, I think there was a music sheet here when we first came in. So this is definitely a place. Hey. I want to talk with you. Talk with Nestor. Snoozing. Elliot, it's a hypochondriac. Not many of those anymore. Got passed down from our ancestors. If you want him to go back to work, you better bring him some cloth. That will butter him up. Hey, can you read this? Okay, so apparently not. Alright, uh, let's head up to the hypro- Oh, we have a poncho! We have cloth. Alright, let's go talk to him. Uh, can you... Here, here's a poncho. Oh, where did you find this? It's amazing. Let me try it on. Because he's cold! That's why he was shivering. Thanks for the poncho. Please come see me if you ever need anything fixed. Well, I have this password. You want me to read this binary code? Just a second. I need to calibrate my lenses. Here, it means duffer bar. Strange. Who gives rendezvous via binary code? All right, so it looks like we need to go back down to the bar. Um, hmm, I'm actually not entirely sure about this one. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Uh, there's some code. What's this? <laughs> ah, one, two, eight, three. L O V. Okay, one two eight three is the code I'm thinking. Let's go see if that works. Uh, we need to go this way. Back over past the musician. That one wasn't too bad. That wasn't a hard puzzle at all. Let's see. One, one, one two eight three. Oh. Oh, it's the music sheet. I thought it was gonna be a memory. No, it's a music sheet. All right. I don't know if this is the last one or not, but let's go ahead and give this to him. Uh, yeah, I've got this one. Hey, that's the last music sheet. Hey, you've done very well, little one. Glad I found that. Had this badge as a token of my gratitude. Okay, we gain a music badge. Let's see, what is this last piece? Unreadable sheet music. Hmm, not very readable, but I can still try. What are the what are the badges?
All right, thanks for that. Thanks, thank you for all that. I'm a great musician now. All right, so it looks like we've done all that. Now let's see here. According to this, we do have, I think, seven memories that we can get here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that's all of them that we can get here in the slums. I did look it up. Uh, I'm not really playing, I'm not playing that game today. Nope. So I think we can move on. There is one um, achievement that you can get here that I didn't realize that you could get. Let me talk about that briefly. I was reading through the achievements um, and up on the rooftops, there is a TV. Uh, let's see here. Where is the TV at? I don't exactly remember where it's at. Exactly. Oh, there's a, another robot up here. Hang on. How do I get over there? Um, I'm gonna go into these plants. <laughs> there's a robot to talk to that I haven't seen. Isn't there a cowboy? No, that's not quite where I wanted to go. Thank you so much for that. Uh... Oh, we can go over here. Okay, good. Looks like they've settled down up here. They were throwing paint cans earlier. Um, let's see here. Go this way, and here, and here. I don't know what you're looking at. There's a roof up there. I could name those lights like real constellations. The big circle, the ball. No, needs more brainstorming. Hello, you. What do you want? That's cute. Um... I actually hadn't anticipated him uh, doing that. Screw your fan. Uh, let's see. So the TV, I think it's all the way over there. Yeah, so I didn't realize this. Um, I did touch it. Uh, you can use the clicker to change channels, which is what we want to do. And apparently there's an achievement for it. I'm not like an achievement hunter per se, and it's not anything that I do too often, but yeah, I spoiled that one for myself. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, so if you come up here, apparently you can continue like clicking all the channels. That looks like a weather channel. This looks like a game show. Oh, hey, look, it's like a sales, um, What's the one sales channel? Oh, it's an action movie. I saw Heartface. Uh, not sure what that is. Yep, there we go. Telechat. So there we go. We have watched all the televisions uh, channels, and I think at this point we can move on. I think we've gotten everything here. Um, the only thing we haven't done uh, is... Isn't there supposed to be a cowboy? Maybe the cowboy's not here. I thought there might be a cowboy. This seems like a great place for a cowboy, to be honest with you. How do I get down? <laughs> Sorry, cat. Hello. I think there are several robots that we can rub up against. I'm not sure if they're all here in town or if you have to wait until later in the game. Oh, I can do this one. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. It looks like I can also rub against him. Oh, that's cute. And apparently, if you stand nearby, <laughs> they smile at you when you talk to them. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so <laughs> let's let's see here. Um, we need to find. I'm looking for people I can rub up against. I don't think I can rub up against the guardian. Um, I probably can't rub up against anybody over here. I can talk to that guy. Nope. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can't find Momo now, because I honestly don't remember where he's at. So we're just, we're on a run now. Uh, 
and move on with the game. Let's see. Hi, uh, are you okay? I'm cleaning the porch of my shop again. Stop playing over my shop, you clumsy rascal. I'm gonna be so mad if I meow at him. No, he wants nothing to do with that. Understood. All right. Uh. Well, that's unfortunate. Looks like something didn't spawn in correctly. Knock, knock. I have things. Oh, he's yelling at me. What are you doing in here? I told you. Getting through the sewers is a suicide mission. Leave me be. What's this? Wait, is this my papa's? Oh wow, I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat, but where? I don't know. Anyway, so it looks like we can knock literally everything down from the walls. Tit! He startled himself. Oh, hey, there's a thing. What's this say? Time will tell. That's creepy and suspicious. I guess we're knocking this one down first. Hey, there's a keypad. Uh, I don't have a key though. What's this say? I've never noticed that digicode before. How did I miss it? I have no idea what the password could be. Time will tell. 2511 is what I'm guessing. Uh, but I haven't finished exploring, so... Actually, maybe I did finish exploring because it looks like I've touched everything. Um... Okay, so yeah. It looks like 2511. Alright. 2511. Observations, cute sounds, but never friendly. Old bacteria of human time eats all kinds of materials. Total vision in the dark reacts to intense light. I've never seen this room. I can't believe he managed to hide it from me all this time. These blueprints, they must be for the Zerk weapon. Papa was always so secretive with his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed a real life test. He went outside the slums and he never came back. Robots news headlines. Zerk are officially no longer under control. Now they eat metal. Um, I haven't found anything of interest. I guess I'm looking for interesting things at this point. Uh, let's see. Excuse me. Get this out of the way. Did I actually knock anything out, or did I just knock that box down? What's it say? Defluxer blueprint concept. Light, hey, hey, hey. Light-based handgun. Low priority visual appearance size. Decibel emitted. High priority test in real condition. Objective 20 zerk destroyed per second. Okie dokie. Um, let's see here. Anything else that I can knock down? I'm clearly missing that I can jump up somewhere and knock something down. Doesn't look like it's over here. There's a lot of little zerk in like places. Oh, there's one up there. Hang on. Let's jump up here. Jump up here. Let's knock this one down too. No, keep pushing. You okay? Oh, I think he's just freaking out. Broken tracker. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, I found this. Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used that tracker to keep an eye on where he was. Maybe we can reverse it to find where he went. I can't believe my Papa might still be alive. I've missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My Papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slums should be able to help. Come with me, I'll open the door for you. Okay, so we have the tracker, but we have to find somebody to fix it. Um, 
My initial thought is Elliot, but I don't know if that's actually the case. Okay, so I'm resourceful, so I have to go do it. Um, man, sorry about your problems, dude. So let's see, let's just show this around to see if anybody can give me some information. Okay, yeah, I'm not, we're not doing your weird nonsense. You can fix your tracker at that address. That kid Elliot who lives there is a real tech whiz. Oh, I guess we are gonna go see Elliot again. All right. I wasn't anticipating going to see him again so soon. Knock, knock, I'm here again. Thank you. Oh god, I almost, I almost wall ran there. Hey. Thanks for the poncho. Okay, well, here's this. Oh wow, that's a great tracker. I recognize this model. It's a Tamiya BR2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget. May I? Let me take a look. Just gotta give it an update and one more thing. Voila! There you go, little one. Good luck for finding who you are look who you're looking for. All right, so we are, um, I think we're ready to go. Good job. All right, so we need to go, I'm assuming back to, I don't think we can use it right off the second, right? The tracker looks fixed to me. Let's show it to Seamus. Okay, yeah. So we have to head back. I think, uh, I think we can go this way. Um, I am crap at directions in video games that I haven't like really explored. Um, ah, here we go. I just have to look for the floating um, dude that didn't unspawn <laughs> or spawn correctly. All right, yeah, here it is. You did, you fixed it. Well done. Give it here. We've got a ping. Is Papa really alive? I can't believe it. Let's follow the tracker. Maybe we'll find where my Papa went. Okay, I'm following you. I think there is also another achievement for um, over here. There's like a ball real quick here that's usually right here. And if you can get it into that bucket, I think you get an achievement. But uh, I didn't uh, I didn't bother with that. Oh, he waits for you. That's cool. I have a sneaking suspicion once we start on this, we will probably booted from this area again. This must be it. He really left the slums. It's dangerous out there, but I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. I thought the guardian was the only one that could open this door. That's bad. Okay, I don't think it would put us in immediate danger. Um, but we do need to be careful. Be really careful, Seamus. Look at all these Zerk eggs. They will eat us. I can't do this. I'm not as fast as you. The Zerks will get me for sure. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize it. He will know you're a friend. I'll open the door for you. 
Okay, so he's gonna let us through. Um, they are like right outside. That's bad. I'm sorry I can't go any further. I'm not as fast. The Zerks will get me. Please find him. Please bring my father back. Well, I don't think I'll be bringing him back, but I think we're going to be um, moving on. All right, so we do need to be really cautious. I'm going to guess we're going to be doing some more chase scenes with the Zerks. Um... My controllers are a bit- or my controls are a bit stiff. Oh, hey, actually... Good. Look at how huge this wall is. I remember, it was a symbol of the division between those in the slums and in Midtown. That and the fact that they kept throwing their garbage down here. What a horrible thing to do. Maybe that's why they failed. Alright. Dead end. All right, we do have more Zerks here. Uh, we do need, to, I'm gonna guess we need to be extra cautious here. Uh, looks like we've got two sets. I wonder if we can pop through the middle. All right, let's find out. Crap, crap, crap. Woo! Woo! No! No, 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 no. Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running, just keep running. Serpentine! Go, 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 jump! Woo! No! <laughs> the camera is in control, or is like, um, in control currently being controlled by oh gosh where do I need to go I see I need to go this way oh lord no you can't stop me okay do I give a short break at least whoo what in the heck okay so let's uh huh. let me take a breath holy crap that was uh terrifying now, what I'm gonna guess we need to do is come over here and then jump back to swing. Can I not reach? Can I, can I maybe reach here and then do that again? Okay, good. I can't believe I didn't die there. Uh, <laughs> that was a little risky, wasn't it? Okay, let's go ahead and jump across. Okay, looks like we got more Zircums. Um, we really just have to... Oh! Oh, we're coming. I'm kind of in control, but no, not really. Right? What the hell was that? You okay there? Because I certainly am not. Are you okay? That was a huge fall. Doc should be nearby. We must be close. I think... Oh, we got injured. Again. I'm not okay with this. Okay, I just have to clean myself and then we'll be okay. Don't do this to me. I was about to say, we're gonna have a moment. I'm gonna have a... Don't bring me injured cats. What the heck? Uh, can I get up there? Like, you gonna let me... There we go. That was weird. You know, after the first fall on pipes, I don't think I would be doing this. Okay. I really don't want to be walking around in this weird sludge, by the way. Um, oh, yeah, it looks like there's a little hidden area over here. I wonder if we got all the memories. We may not have. 
The scientist I used to work for always said he wanted to retire to a little cottage fishing all day long. Of course, that was not a possibility in the city and nobody could have done that for at least 100 years. When we got to the outside, what if we found ourselves a little cottage with a harmless fishing rod and a lot of books? I think that's what the scientif scientist would have wanted. But first, we should go find Doc. Okay, looks like we're still getting the stuff. Um, looks like there's another little sleeping spot here. There is an achievement for sleeping for an hour, which is a lot of time. I'm going to assume also that the memories are in order so that we're finding them as like, like properly as we go. I'm just gonna make that assumption. <laughs> I bet there is Zerk over here. I see eggs and stuff, but I don't see... What the... F Who put that mannequin in there? Okay, just being a little cautious. I ain't dealing with... What is this cable? Hmm, it's hooked into the power generator. Uh, looks like we need something. Uh, we need an item to activate that. Hmm, it's an electric generator, but it seems to require some other part to function. Okay, so we need to find said part, I'm guessing. I don't currently see any Zerg, so that's probably good for, for right now. Okay, I don't see an item. Be gentle. Careful. A little nervous about going over here. I think I hear some of them. Or not. Ugh! It undulates. It's gross. I don't like that. Excuse me. Knock knock. Oh, there's some Zerk in a cage. Let's see anything up here? You guys are so gross. Hmm, not really seeing any anything. Let's go down here and see. This is Doc, is he... Hi, friend! Oh. Whoa. Wait, you're not a Zerk. Who are you? That's my badge that you're wearing. How did you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, Seamus, you clever boy. I've been alone here for ages. I came here to test my defluxer, but it didn't go as planned. I wish I could go back home. I miss my son dearly. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. Huh. Okay, well, we startled the crap out of him. Sorry, sorry, friend. Uh, oh, there's a memory here. I don't know how this is a memory. I've seen humans wear costumes like this. They were small and running around and making a lot of noise. Oh yes, I remember now. They were children. The streets felt much more alive with them. Even with the difficulty they brought, the adults seemed to love them very much. Doc says he misses Seamus. Is that the same thing? I think so. And it looks like we've got, like, all the memories are now, um, like, the additional memories are great. I'm kind of wondering if that means that these are memories from other, uh, other chapters. Let's see. What's this? Wait, what's this? Hey, be careful with that deflexer. At full charge, it can explode zerks like confetti. This baby needs 1.21 gigawatts to work. Really? We're taking that reference? Yeah, if you hadn't figured out Doc and Seamus, I don't know what to tell you. And the only thing around here with that kind of juice is the generator outside the house. The problem is that it won't start. I think a fuse blew. And with all the zerks around, it's too dangerous for me to go out and fix it. I'm not fast enough, but you might just be. If you can reach the generator and replace the fuse, I should be able to get the defluxer recharged. Come on, follow me. I'll show you what to do. Q 
Here, take this fuse. It's brand new. Turning on the generator will be loud, so expect some zerks. Once you fix the generator, I should be able to charge and kickstart the defluxer. You just need to follow this cable, charge the fuse, then meet me back here. Okay. Well, here I go. So what I'm probably going to end up having to do is run from some zerks once we... Um, once we have all that happen. So let's uh, make sure we understand our escape route here. We're going to need to jump across the bridge um, and then jump up top. Okay. So let's, let's do this. Okay. Let's go ahead and use this. And, uh, oh, it's going to send us right into a cutscene. Cat, run. So he's, looks like he's going to be giving us a little bit of help. Oh gosh, please. Holy crap. No, 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 no. Looks like we're not going to make this. Nope. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of Zergs coming through that area. I wasn't, uh... Really sure that was gonna be happening. So, keep that in mind. We could probably stay with the purple light. Come on, duck, duck, duck. Come on, duck. Ow, 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 get off. Okay. Well, we took some damage, but we, we did a lot better that time, so we're good. <laughs> really? <laughs> I think he's cheering. Amazing, you got the generator back on. Have you seen how powerful the deflexor is? It's definitely way out of or way out of here. Wait a minute, I might be able to mount this deflexor to your drone. It worked. The deflector is now installed on your fancy drone there. It's not meant to run off such a small power source. If you use it too much, it could malfunction. Just remember, it's dangerous. Now let's go back to the village. I'm coming home, son. Okay. Take out all those zerks so we can get through. Okay, so we want to use L1 to use the deflexor. Wow, it's working great, but as I suspected, it can overheat. Let it cool for a bit when that happens. I hope it will last until we reach the village. So it looks like uh, the heating element is on the left of the drone. Which doesn't work. It looks like the electricity has been has been cut. There must be a way to open that door. All right, so it looks like it's up to me to figure out how to open the door. Uh, let's see here. And also to look around. I think we need to get up top, but I'm not entirely certain how to do that. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and jump in here. Let's roll this this way. Maybe that will bring me where I need to go. Hey, yo, stop. Uh, no, I can't jump up there. Oh, maybe... Hang on. Maybe I need to roll this 
one over there, but I need this out of the way. Okay. So let's jump down, and then we're gonna get into this one. I think we can roll this this way. And I suspect if we roll it to about here, We'll be able to... No, I can't jump up there. Oh wait, there's a door right there. I, I missed the complete... I was thinking maybe we have to take the pipes, but no, it looks like we can jump up there. Oh, can I get up there? Okay, yes. Uh, Can I get up there? What? Okay, I'm not close enough. That's what I'm getting out of this. Roll, 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 roll. Okay. Now can I get up there? Come on. Thank you. Mute to you too. Okay, so I have a sneaking suspicion. Our newfound powers will come in handy. What was that noise? Okay. Yeah, that thing does over... As that does have a... Where do these guys come from? Stop me! Doc, hit the button! Oh, I see. Yeah, some, um, I think Bear mentioned that I should pulse. Oh lordy! Woo! I barely- oh god, there's still a couple! Hoo hoo hoo! That was close! Phew, that was close! Let's go back home. Ha <laughs> ha, that was... That was intense! Okay. I apologize, I just dawned on me that I had forgotten to turn on performance mode, so the rest, the last hour of this may have been a little rough to watch. I'm hoping that's not the case, but I'll double check and um, I'll put a notice up at the beginning if that is in fact the case. Doc, thank you. Okay, looks like we're going into another cutscene. Hey, we're back! <laughs> Aww. Aww. How sweet. Were we getting pet by the guardian? Thanks for saving Doc, little friend. It's great to see that Seamus is no longer alone. Now we know we can fight back against the Zerks. Momo has been waiting for you by the sewers. Doc and Seamus look happy. I think we did a good thing together. Alright, so we have to find uh, Momo. Hey, this looks different. Momo is waiting for you on his boat. You can join him, but have you done everything you wanted in here? Because I'll close the door behind you. Don't want any Zerks coming through. All right. Sounds like that is it for this area. But I'm ready to move on. Is there anything over here? I didn't actually just dawned on me that I should probably double check that there are no memories or anything over here. 
Uh, does look, could we go vertical? I don't think so. I think we're too far away from the stuff to go vertical and it doesn't really look like there's much here. Is there anything in here that we can grab? Nope. Anything over here? Also nope. Okay, so it looks like we are in fact ready to- what? Ready to go. I can't believe you found Doc and got the deflexor. With this we can go find the Zalbazar. Let's go. Yes, I've noticed some GPU issues when recording recently, so trying to be cautious with that. All right. I have no doubt that trouble is going to be afoot very rapidly. That still works. Okay, we're good. What's that? What's the problem? See any way to open this gate? Can you take a look on the other side? Yeah, sure. I'll get right freaking on that. Uh, let's see. So it looks like we have to jump through. Okay. At this point, I am looking for memories and things. Uh, let's see. Actually, it uh, looks like there are two memories down here that we can find. I don't, I don't like that down there, by the way. Can we, can we damage these? No. Um, So yes, yes we can. Hang on a second. No. Hang on, I gotta like cool. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna take out these Zerks because it's what I, I think we should do. Come on, hatch please. Pulsing is a great idea on this, and uh, that's a brilliant one. Come on, hatch, please. Thank you. Just gotta let that cool before we hatch this one. Okay, so there we go. Let's go ahead and open the gate now. Got a couple things open. What's up? I've never been this far out of the slums with you here. I'm not even scared. Oh, that's actually really sweet. Unfortunately for you, I'm just a cat. What is this place? Oh, they're watching us. I'm gonna turn the light on so I have it ready. Oh. I thought you had something new to say. Hmm. 
Hmm. There are a lot of things here. Okay, what's this? <laughs> They're just like watching us. Why aren't they eating everything around them? That's my question. So are they less of like Warhammer scarabs than I thought that they were? Oh, it blew. So what do we do now? All this old machinery is broken now. I think we can only open it manually. Okay, so we gotta figure out how to open it manually. I have to open it manually, a freaking course, all right. Oh no, he's got it, he's gonna I'm not taking any chances here. Quick, jump below the door. It won't hold for long. Okay, so he does in fact want me to jump into and cross. I can't go on with you, but I won't stop looking for a way. When you find Zalbitzar and Clementine, tell them I was brave. I don't know how I feel about- Oh God. Nope, I'm gonna want you out, like, right now. This is what it happens when humans play God. Okay, we're gonna take it easy getting through here. Why aren't they up here? Well, I guess they are up here. Never mind, they just haven't covered every inch of this particular area. Okie dokie, so it looks like um, we need to be looking right now. Come on, hatch. Bloody hell. Okay, uh, first things first. Is there anything over there? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Kinda curious if there is something over there, given all the exacts. But I don't think there is. I also don't feel comfortable walking in whatever this is, by the way. I wish we had somebody with fingers to assist us. Looks like we need to go across. I think we can actually go in there. Maybe we can't actually. I think things are going to be coming out of there. Okay. I have no doubt. Oh my god. Alright. So I think the best thing we can do is take it kind of easy here. I'm kind of... Okay, let's let things cool. I do want to be... Come on, hatch, please. You guys are definitely gonna hatch, so. I saw one pop past me. Okay. Let's see if we can't maybe go around. So if you don't go too close to them, they don't hatch. Um, but it does look like we're gonna have to deal with some of these guys. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this one. Okay, we're gonna need to pop some of these guys. So let's go ahead and just... Then 
that looks like something we need to activate. Okay, so I'm gonna go this way. Come on, please. Oh, thank you. This is so satisfying to kill them, by the way. Um, I'm gonna pop this one too. Because I think getting a few of them out of the way will make this a little bit easier. Okay, are we good? Anything else? All right, let's go ahead and activate this. Oh, we got, we got unfriendlies. Okay, we're good. At least as good as it's gonna get. I'm actually really enjoying the music, by the way. I haven't mentioned too much about the music in this game because it's been kind of, um, uh, I wouldn't say very exciting, but this music fits pretty well. It's kind of creepy. I'm currently looking for memories and other things, um, primarily memories. I haven't seen any. I might have missed some in the previous areas. I don't know. What freaking hor- What the f- Can I blind them? No. You should be able to blind them. I didn't realize I was going into a goddamn horror game. Okay, this is spooky as. F oh gosh. There's more of that. Yeah, it's like. Okay, but I think if I don't sit still for too long, we'll be okay. Oh, there's some behind me. What the hell? No. Pause for a second here. It's like summoning them like a freaking... What? I know they're called Zerg, but I didn't realize that they were going to be related to the Zerg. God, that the eyeballs are terrifying. It's like spitting them out. Also, I don't like that. I really don't like that. I hate all of this. Oh my god! Like I'm, like right here. Here is your freaking. That the, that's your thumbnail for this episode. I haven't even done thumbnails for these yet because I've only been releasing them for Patreon. And uh, no, oh my God. What the hell? What did we do? So yeah, it looks like uh, eyeballs are starting to grow here. That's creepy as fuck. Don't like that. Nope. Mm -mm. This is a hard freaking pass for me. Okay, uh, I need to explore a little bit to see if there's any memories or anything in here that we can grab. But also, I'm scared out of my mind. No thank you for the eyeballs. Do, do not want, do not like, just absolutely freaking not. They're gonna open, aren't they? They're gonna open and I'm gonna pee myself. <laughs> uh, 
Um, again, I'm not seeing... I was not wrong! What door opened? I've got to get to the other side. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, so this is terrifying. Maybe I should have cleared some of these out. I didn't even think about it. Living on the outside would probably be a good thing at this point. I assume that the light, since this is really intense light, would probably work really well against them. Please open that a little faster. Right? You know, the sun is about as bright as you can get. I love the arrow telling us which direction to go. Um, yeah, thanks for that. I think I figured it out. Oh my god. Wait, what? Hang on a second. Okay. God damn! The eyeballs are getting bigger. That's... I'm not liking this. I'm really, really not liking this. Don't walk through the stuff. What are you doing? B12? What the heck? B12, B12, do something! I'm fighting him. Oh crap. Lights out. Grab the robot. Time for us to leave. I think we're gonna be going into a running sequence. I'm not even, I'm just immediately just going. Oh good god, go 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 serpentine 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 run No 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 Nope nope Oh god they're everywhere Left right Go to the left Oh gosh Oh gosh! Oh gosh! No, 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 Keep going. I had to readdress my controller until I can hold it. Go, go, go before it. We're in! Woo! Didn't die! Also, B12 killed my light. Excuse me, little friend. Can you wake up, please? Come on. It was dark. I was alone. It felt like I was back in the network. But you saved me. Thank you, friend. Drawing that much power was rough on my core. The deflector is completely destroyed now. We have to be careful. Yeah, um... That sucks. But it looks like we made it. I don't know... If I missed any memories there, but I was way too in a hurry to find out. Okay. Okay, it looks like we're in a new area here. Hey! Hello! Hello, friend with hat. A traveler from the sewers. We haven't seen one of you in ages. Are you the one who contacted us earlier, the little outsider? Zabazar the outsider has been expecting you. He's meditating at the top of our village. 
Oh, looks like we are in the ant village. This machine, the scientist I assisted used one of these. He was sick. This was his last hope. He walked into the machine. But I wasn't with him. He was alone. What was he doing? He uploaded himself into the computer and then everything was different. But the upload, something went wrong. He was stuck for hundreds of years. Until a little cat appeared. Oh. He's the scientist. Was it... It was. Me. I was the scientist. I was human. I need a moment. He literally ups uploaded his consciousness. Yeah, I missed two memories um, in that sequence. Sorry, guys. Um, he uploaded himself to the network, essentially. Um, which is very interesting. Let's, um... Everybody seems really happy here. Let's get up to the top and talk to Zalbazar and uh, continue. I want to get to, I'm hoping, a save point. I've, I've seen one, a couple of them. What else have I forgotten? I must have had parents, friends. What happened to everyone? I wanted to open the city, but is there anyone, is there even anyone left to save? Uh, the robots? Like, human con- from what I'm guessing, human consciousness has been transferred to robots. So, oh, what the hell? What is this? Uh... Hey, don't you know not to interrupt a fellow during his trans transcendental meditation? Oh, it's you. You were with Momo when we received that call earlier. I'm glad to meet you at last, little outsider. You know Momo and Doc, so you're already familiar with us outsiders. I miss them. Their memory brings me peace. Momo stayed in the slums. I heard you help Doc and Clementine. She's in Midtown now. If you want to see the outside, she's the one who can get you there. Apparently, she had some kind of plan to leave the city. Here, take this. I wrote her address on the back of this picture. To reach Midtown, climb up our little village. It should be easy for a dexterous one like you. If you manage to reach the outside, you will be the very first. I would wish you luck, but you don't need it. I believe in you. Interesting. You should go find Clementine. I hope nothing has happened to her. Climb to the top of our village. Okay. So it looks like... Yeah, we did hit that save point, which was what I was hoping for. And um, we've reached... Ant village. So yeah, we can climb to the top. We have some other stuff to do here, but first, so next time um, I'm going to be exploring this village and we'll see how well we do.